Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Claudia and I'm just one of just two sisters. I'm really excited today to show you a brand new journal that has just been completed. I hope you like it as much as I do. So this journal is entitled Dream and it's definitely a place for you to keep all of your wonderful thoughts. As you can see, it's pretty thick. It has a lot of different elements to it. There's the side. So let's go ahead and open it up and, and check out what's inside. It has a really cool little clasp. It's just really nothing more than a little piece of Velcro. You just pull that open, pull your ribbon around, and now you're ready to open. Let's check out what's inside. So the first page is really all about you. It's who the journal belongs to, and you can record the dates that you've uh, decided to um, put things into this journal and write down your thoughts and stories and store little fun things that might be memorabilia for you. So that's the first page. The second page um, is a great writing surface, some old graph paper. And in this page, it has a little uh, round pocket with a little tag inside. It says thank you on one side. It has some great little netting some really old paper and paper that I personally have either tea, coffee dyed, tea dyed, or echo dyed. And you can see a little bit more about how my sister Karen and I do that on our website. But this is an example of really pretty uh, coffee dyeing paper using lace. So the next page is a page that folds out for you to write in. You simply remove the little clip, unwrap the little ribbon or the little string, and it opens right up. Lots of places for you to write on. To close, again, just crossing the little string um, allows you to keep the uh, little pad closed, replace the little clip on the side, and it just keeps everything nice and neat. And of course, these are always fun when they extend over the edge of the, uh, of the book. This page has some great uh, writing space. It has a little tablet uh, made of vintage papers that you can record just little quips, little sayings or thoughts that you might have. I really like this kind of Victorian vintage look. The next page has what's called a band. Uh, in the band is a little tablet that's a trip diary that you can write all kinds of fun things in. And when you're finished, it simply slips right back into the little band um, and holds it nicely in place. This side of this page um, has a pocket. Uh, the pocket contains a tag. All the tags and the, and the envelopes and the cards, as well as the little um, tablets, um, come with this journal, but you can also add more to it. You can either make your own or you can visit our website and you can purchase additional, um, what, what's called ephemera, um, that you can put in your junk journal. There's also some videos on how to make your own, which is a lot of fun. Next page in this journal is Tell a Story, Once Upon a Time. Has a really pretty side page of a decoupage napkin um, with a really pretty bird and using some stamps, some vintage paper, and I also coffee dyed um, this little piece of material, which is called cheesecloth, uh, just to give it ad additional uh, texture. The next page is a musical page with some really cool old vintage ribbon, lace ribbon. This is also a two pocket um, little doodad here. Um, and this is a really pretty tag that says a little bird told me you can't skip and be unhappy at the same time. All of these have like some form of vintage element. And a lot of them have sewing where I've actually sewn the lace together or sewn the card. Again, here's a really great writing space, plenty of room to write. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, like junk journals that have a lot of place to write. Um, so I've tried to accomplish that with this one. Another little uh, three um, pocket holder. This one has a card another little card, little bird card, and there's plenty of room for more in these little pockets. This one page here um, also has a tablet. You simply remove the little clip, 
pull out this awesome little um, vintage uh, pattern sewing um, tablet. Lots and lots of pages here for you to write on. When you're finished, you simply replace it back into the pocket. These hold it from slipping out, but I like to have just that little extra assurance and just clip it on to the side and that way it keeps it nice and neat. Next page again is some vintage graph paper, uh, giving you lots of writing surface here and here. A really fun little pocket with a tablet uh, that has this really whimsical yarn that I love so much. Some very old vintage paper that has been coffee dyed. A little small bird tag that's a lot of fun. Um, and again, you can add your own ephemera, uh, add your own little memorabilia, ticket stubs, photographs, whatever you prefer. This is one of my favorite pages. I just love this paper. I distressed it a little bit and added the sewn ribbon with, again, that whimsical yarn that just gives it that old vintage feel. This is a super fun pocket. It takes up, you know, pretty much the whole page. Um, gives you a lot of room to put things in in this pocket. I've actually put what I call a, call a folio. And basically this looks like an old um, postcard. Um, you open it up, it has a little accordion uh, pocket from a very old vintage book. You simply wrap this ribbon around and tie it in a bow and slip it back down into your pocket. It also has a little bird tag. We do not remember days, we remember moments um, with a fun little um, tag there that can slip right in. The next page is a, a short story writing page um, with fun little elements that come from some old vintage magazines. This page has a very large um, folder that you can put things in. And what I have in here is a dream card um, this is a fun little uh, technique of recreating a dream um, on um, just, an, just an index card using a lot of fun elements, including the sewing machine. But again, you can put um, whatever you would like in these. And here's a little clip that you can clip something to it. Next page is again, um, lots of writing. Oops, sorry, um, here, uh, lots of clean space. Uh, you can either glue things on, you can clip things on, you can put photographs, you can put um, your own writing. This is a fun page using um, sewing notions, patterns, rickrack, a little bit of material. Here's a little clip on that has a, a pattern card on it. Next page here is again one of my favorites. I really like all the elements here, the old and the new and the birds and the butterflies. These are napkins that have been decoupaged, cheesecloth, washi tape, um, just a lot of different elements with this really pretty, very clean uh, sheet of paper that you could put a wedding invitation or a photograph or again, um, whatever suits your fancy. Here's a, another blank page. This is one of my favorites in terms of paper. This is made with flowers and leaves and coffee dyeing. Um, I have quite a bit of this paper. I spent a day actually uh, experimenting with a lot of different coffee dyeing techniques and was really happy with the way this came out. This little pocket has um, a little memorandum, a little ticket, um, as well as this really wonderful card that kind of brings back a memory. I met a boy that I knew, my heart went out to him there. Um, this one in particular denotes maybe a memory of being in New York. Again, a lot of really vintage elements. I do not copy things. I actually purchase old magazines. So the things that you see in my journals are typically made out of just tearing old advertisements and pages out of vintage magazines. Here's a little uh, trip page that has a story, uh, celebrate the journey, and a little, uh, a little tag, a little luggage tag, if you will. On this page is um, I, an itinerary with a tablet that's actually um, glued into the journal. This one does not come out, um, but it's got quite a bit of writing space for you to record stories of maybe trips that you took or trips that you'd like to take. Here again is another nice clean writing surface at the back, and here is the back cover. 
This is definitely sums it all up. Life is not measured by the breaths that we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. And I'll attribute that to one of my favorite authors, Maya Angelou. And the back cover is similar to the front. It has a very Paris look and uh, feel to it. And again, in order to close the journal, simply push down with your hand, wrap the ribbon around, turn it over and clasp it to the Velcro and you have put it all back together nice and neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Go check out our website at www.we'rejusttwosisters.com and see more things that we've created. Thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day.